What if Grey Dwarfs could build? Can you imagine how cool their bases would be? I mean, they would surely build defenses, houses, shops, and so on. It would be amazing. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I would be the Grey Dwarf builder for today's video, and I will go into this Grey Dwarf base, I will transform it with building a variety of things, and hopefully we'll end up with something quite cool. So let's start with the defenses. This seems to make sense to me because then we can make a perimeter for the rest of the base. Now, I don't think Grey Dwarfs would build anything too elaborate. They seem kind of dumb, <laughs> so I think they'd keep it pretty simple. But I think they'd want to just build something to help defend their base against Viking attacks. I'm also trying to build these walls out of materials that I think Grey Dwarfs would use. So that's why we've got like the stone and the core wood and wood, because obviously they are in a black forest. So this seems to make sense to me and we're keeping it quite simple, but also giving them some defense. So after a lot of chopping trees and mining rocks and leveling ground, we finally have a bit of a perimeter set up. I was playing around with some ideas for lighting options and I totally forgot that Grey Dwarfs will actually attack these lights because they're obviously meant to be built by players and and they don't really like them. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to rethink this because this Grey Dwarf keeps throwing rocks at these and damaging them and obviously eventually they're gonna break. There we go, like that. He's got a good shot though, to be fair. That being said though, this is how the Grey Dwarf base is looking right now. And I have to say, I, I, I really like it. I think it's looking pretty good, even at this early stage. It actually got me thinking that this could be a cool addition to the actual game of Valheim to have Grey Dwarf bases that spawn in and maybe you could go and like raid them and loot them and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. So as it turns out, Grey Dwarfs will actually attack just about any type of light that you put down. There is, however, one exception, and you guessed it, guys, you're looking at it. So these Wisp Flights, apparently Grey Dwarfs don't care about them. You can place them down and they will not be attacked by the Grey Dwarfs. So really, that's our only option for lighting for the Grey Dwarf base. Now, on the one hand, this is not really in keeping with materials. I'd expect Grey Dwarfs to be able to get their hands on. But on the other hand, it looks really, really cool. So I'm going to stick with it. And this is how it looks at night from afar. And I have to say, this looks even better, in my opinion. I mean, can you imagine coming to a structure like this that was naturally generated in Valheim? I think that'd be really exciting especially if you're new to the game. It has, however, made me think we may be a little bit limited with what we can build out of for the rest of this video, because obviously Grey Dwarfs might be attacking things, which didn't occur to me when I planned this video out. That being said, we're going to persevere with this and see how good we can make this base, even with that limitation. It occurred to me that although the perimeter walls are quite nice, the Grey Dwarfs would want a way of getting in and out of their base to go on exploration and stuff like that. So I decided to build a very simple gate out of materials they'd easily be able to get hold of, and also put in a little guard. So this guard obviously protects the base, make sure only Grey Dwarfs can get in, and I figured I needed to give him a good name. So what do we call him? Well, of course, I called him Gandalf. Gandalf the Grey Dwarf. <laughs> I mean, think about it, guys. If anybody tries to get in this base who isn't a Grey Dwarf, all he has to do is stand there and simply say, Now, just inside the gate, we have, of course, this building right here, which is the building that we start with and that all Grey Dwarf bases in the game currently have, of course. Now, it's a little bit run down. If we go inside here, we can see that the grass is all sort of overgrown. There's no actual, like, flooring to this thing. There is a little chest there, and then the stairs just kind of run out as we get to here. And then there's the roof, which is also in a poor state of repair and could be improved. But in any fort structure, the gate is always the weak point, and that's why I purposely had this near the gate, because I thought this could make quite a nice guard tower to protect the gate area and protect the base in general. So I'm now going to work on turning this into more of a guard tower and making it look a little bit nicer than it currently does. I've made a few changes to this guard tower, so let's take a look at them and see what we've done. First of all, from the outside, you can see I've put the red and white banner on just to make it a little bit more colorful. And I figured that banner is pretty easy to get. You just need raspberries, so it kind of makes sense that they could have that. I've also added this little stone walkway down here from the gate and then going to the inside. And I think we can use this for different roads and different areas throughout the space. On the inside now, we have a nice rock pile down at the bottom here because obviously they're going to need to pick up their rocks in order to use them for ammunition to throw at any potential attackers. We then have this nice windy ladder going all the way up to the top where we have a protected area for them to throw out the stones that they've picked up before and attack any people that are trying to attack them. Up on the top here we have another stone pile on this little overhang area so again they can get some more ammunition without needing to go all the way back downstairs that seemed to make sense. And then just a little roof to make it look a bit nicer and that's what the wisp lights are also for just to uh, provide a bit of light as well of course when it gets to night time. So pretty happy with that nice basic build but that is kind of the idea because they are great off after all and that makes sense as a little guard tower just inside the door in my opinion. The next thing I thought I'd build is a little area where the Grey Dwarfs can do some trading either with themselves and with each other or with passers-by as they come through. So that's why I've put it nice and near to the gate here so people could just come in and do a quick trade if they want if Gandalf lets them in of course and then leave again and go on their way. The market stalls are now complete and this is what we have. Obviously a Grey Dwarf serving behind each of them and we're selling the following things. So I tried to pick things that Grey Dwarfs would sell and that's why we have mushrooms 
mushrooms, blueberries, raspberries, and carrots. And by the looks of it, we have our first customer as well. I wonder what he's going to buy. So one thing I think this base is going to need next is somewhere for all these wonderful grey doors to sleep at night. So I've marked a bit of an area over here and started to put down a floor plan. And this is going to be like the sleeping quarters. We're going to make basically a giant bedroom for all these grey doors to bunk together in their base. Now, I don't have a build design for this as such. just a rough idea of what I'm trying to do. And I've put down a bit of a floor plan. So yeah, I mean... This might go badly. Let's find out. A few new additions now to the base. You can see here we have a bit of a resource stockpile area with like stones and wood and things like that. This was mostly because I just had this empty area here in between these two buildings and thought I should fill it with something. But it also seemed to make sense to me that if they're going to have a base, they would have an area to store some resources like this. And then we have this, which is what I've obviously been working on. This is going to be the great or sleeping quarters. So a few basic trophies just for decoration and some banners that I thought they have an outside chance of being able to get their hands on. So it kind of makes sense and also adds a bit of color but you can see from here the overall design that i'm going for from the outside i have to do the inside still but i just thought i'd give you guys a little update now that the outside has been done just heading through the door here into the inside we have two identical chambers we've got one here on the left and one over here on the right and this is where i'm going to put the beds in a moment so considering i didn't have an actual plan for this building i'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out i think it's, it's looking okay you know it's it's not amazing it's not gonna win any awards but it's not terrible either so now i'm just gonna go ahead and make a start on the inside start putting some beds in and things like that to obviously finish off this building. I've been working on the Gradle sleeping quarters, but also just added a little thing down here, just a little chopping block for the wood. And I just thought I'd mention it because it's quite small and you probably wouldn't see it unless I mentioned it. But into the sleeping quarters now where we can see already there are some differences, starting just inside the front door here with this little waiting area. It's a little bit comfortable with some benches and some rugs. Then on the right hand side here, we have this, which is the sleeping quarters and it can house eight Gradles at a time. So if they sleep in shifts, that's at least 16 Gradles. <laughs> I figured that's probably enough. Now you notice we just have the one little wisp light down here. I figured it would be nice to have just like a little bit of light because then they can get to sleep a little bit easier and some chests for them to put their things in. And you can see at nighttime, this place actually looks really awesome, I think. Like you got the, like a little night light there in the wisp light and some of the wisp outside sort of glowing there, but not too much light in the room. You'd still be able to get to sleep. Now on the opposite side to so this, just down this hallway over here, I decided to do something a little bit different and make a food area where the grey doors can come and eat. So they have a basic cauldron and spice rack. I didn't put a fire underneath, as you can see, because they are scared of fire. So I figured they probably wouldn't want a fire. So you might be asking how they're actually cooking their food if they don't have a fire underneath and to be honest if i was to think about it too long i wouldn't be able to tell you <laughs> to be honest it, it's magic okay that, that that's that's how they're doing it i've just decided that they're using magic but look at what all this magic has managed to cook up for them <laughs> we have an absolute feast here fit for a great or farmy so i did things like blueberries raspberries deer stew carrot soup queen's jam muck shakes mostly stuff they'd be able to get their hands on i figured and maybe a couple little treats in there maybe it's like a special feast at this time of year either way that is now the great off courses complete for where they're going to sleep and of course eat as well and i'm pretty happy with the end result i have to say it's not looking too bad so i was looking at this base and thinking you know what next what do i want to do for the next build in here and there's a bit of like space left there's still a few things that we can do, but I think I had a pretty cool idea. Now I say that I had the idea, but actually this was a suggestion on the community post I made on my channel. So thank you to everyone who suggested things. A few suggestions have been included in today's video. For this one in particular, I thought what we could do is use these trees that we have in the compound, both here and here, just opposite the sleeping quarters and make some little tree houses. I thought that'd be kind of cool and kind of fun. And to me, there is like a playful, fun element to the Grey Dwarfs. I think although they're scared of us and they attack us as Vikings, they'd probably be fun with each other. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Start making a couple fun little treehouse structures on these trees right here and again i don't have a plan so let's just see what i come up with the tree houses have now been completed so let's take a look at what we've done so first of all we have this way up here with the normal ladders in the game so that they are actually accessible but for the tree house on this side i also added a second ladder going up which is more like the sort of ladder you'd see in real life going to a tree house i just thought it looked really good even though it's not actually functional so we have this little platform here that the ladders go up to and then we can go up to the right or up to the left so on the right hand side we just have a very cozy area here with lots of rugs and a couple of tankards on the go and some seating and stuff like that. And then on the other side, I went for a little bit of a slightly different design and we do have a jacuzzi, but it doesn't work all the time. Sometimes the bubbles work and sometimes they don't. Let's see if I can get them working. So there we go. It is now working. Oh, it stopped again. It's like, cause it's like not sure if it's inside or outside. I think that's the issue because there is plenty of wood in there, but there we go. It, it's like a temperamental jacuzzi. There you go. <laughs> so this is how they look from afar and they're just supposed to be fun little areas that the Gradles can go and hang out in and that sort of thing. And also it was a suggestion 
on a post in my community section. So I wanted to build that for the people that suggested it. So thank you to those who did suggest this one and let's move on to the next build in this space. The next thing I thought it'd be pretty cool to build in this space is a farming area. It sort of makes sense to me that the Grey Dwarfs will want to farm and then they have food that they can eat and also trade at their market. So for the farm, I think the only thing we should farm is carrots as that is a black forest crop. So it's probably the most realistic thing that the Grey Dwarfs would be able to get their hands on and actually farm. Now, as for the location in the top left of the screen right now, you see we've got this little area right here as part of this sort of L shape of this building. And I think that could be a good little area to do the farm. So I'm going to get to work on the farm and I'll give you guys updates along the way, or I might just bring you in right at the end, depending on how the build goes. I ended up building the entire farm as it really didn't take too long. It's not a huge build, but let's take a look at what we've got here. So first of all, a little stone road going up here to all of the farming tools for the Grey Dwarfs to use. So we've got just some cultivators, hoes, and a couple of pickaxes as well. And over here, we have somewhere to store all of the farmed goods. So like this chap is actually having a little look in there to see what's going on at the moment. Now, this right here is quite obviously a scarecrow. I know you guys are well aware that's what that is and it needs no explanation at all. But I thought, you know, just for the sake of it, I, I will say, that, yeah, that, that's meant to be a scarecrow. <laughs> it was, uh, it was the best I could do, guys. Okay, Valheim, you know, it's a little bit limited. That was the best I got. I mean, to be fair, if I saw this in a field, I definitely would think twice about stealing any crops from anywhere around there. <laughs> so maybe it works. I don't know. Then we have the farms themselves, just in these little boxed off cultivated areas. And of course, the carrots being grown. Now, I need to ask you guys permission for this one a little bit, because as you can see, I have placed down a windmill. And if you want to say to me that you highly doubt Grey Dwarfs better get organized enough to go and actually get all the materials to build a windmill, then I, I completely accept that. I do. That would be entirely fair enough. However, this is is of course meant to be a farm and I thought it did look really really cool plus I thought the base in general could use something that's moving I think it just adds to the base overall like if we're up here just taking a bit more of an overview of the base and you've got that windmill that's just moving there in the background you can sort of barely see it I don't know I just think it just it adds something to it and even looking just at this farm section here from afar again that movement to me is just really nice to have in there so hopefully you'll forgive me for putting that in there but if you don't forgive me I mean this will be in there when you see this video so I mean yeah I guess all I could do is apologize but I don't know I thought it look good. And I do keep thinking, imagine if they added something like this to Valheim where there were actual Grodor villages, you could go and raid and that sort of thing, like how cool that would be. I just really feel this is starting to take shape now as a really cool looking base and I would love to stumble across something like this in Valheim in all different biomes, not just Grey Dwarfs. And having a moving part would just add a bit of excitement and help you to find it and that sort of thing, in my opinion. But that's just my thoughts. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments. So I didn't realize that Grey Dwarfs would actually attack this. Uh, this is somewhat of a problem. As you can see, this little dude right here is just about destroying our windmill. I actually had it placed down for ages and I was waiting to see if the Grey would attack it and none of them did for such a long time. I thought we were safe, but yeah, clearly not. So I might need to rethink this. So my solution for the windmill, as you can see, it was just to put an iron fence around it. <laughs> and that seems to be working so far. No Grey have attacked it. It is a little bit odd. I mean, why would you build something if you, you know, you build it, you, you hate it so much because the Grey have technically built this, right? That's what we're pretending here. So they've built this windmill, but they hate it. They want to destroy it, but then they've built an iron gate around it to prevent themselves from destroying it. I mean, that, that's a leap of the imagination for sure. It's possible I just like this windmill idea way too much, but I don't know. It's, it's there for now, so... Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Now, this base is definitely starting to take shape, but as you can see, there are still just a couple areas that we could still build some things in if we wanted to. So I think I'll start with this area right here and build another thing that was suggested in the comments on the post that I made on my community section. And that is, we're going to use this area here to build a bit of a shrine to the Elder, as this is sort of suggested that the Grey Dwarfs might worship the Elder as he is the boss in their biome. And I did kind of like that idea and thought it might add something a little bit different to the Grey Dwarf base. So that's the next thing that I'm going to build. Okay, guys, the Grey Dwarf worship the elder they've built a shrine to him and this is what it looks like <laughs> i mean it might be the worst thing i've ever built i'm, I'm really not sure in, in a way i actually kind of like it it just looks so derpy and so ridiculous i i fully understand if i'm going to get a lot of hate for this down in the comments i mean from a distance if you were just walking through the black forest and you saw that it would really stand out and sort of identify that oh i'm about to approach a grodor village so you know, there's, there's that. But when you get up close, this really is an odd looking creature, isn't it? I mean, we are pretending Grey Dwarfs built all this. So, you know, maybe they're just not the best builders or I guess in this case, I'm not the best builder, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we have. So just to go over it briefly, down at the bottom here, we have all the sacrifices or the offerings that they've made to their elder god. So that's in the form of wood that seemed to make sense. He's sort of like the wood boss and all these little presents as well. I don't know what's in there. They've just wrapped little things up and put them in there. These are their offerings to the elder god. And then, yeah, just this giant core wood structure with an elder head on top 
top of it. That is that is indeed what I went for. So I feel this one might divide people a bit. I think some people will like it and just like how derpy it is and others will be like, Kaizen, no, just no. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts in the comments. So the area I'm looking at right now is pretty much the last area we have available. As you can see, this base has now been pretty much built in every available space. So I've just got to think of something to put in that little area right there. And I think I've had a decent idea. Seeing as how Grados really don't like Vikings, what would they do if they were able to capture one? Well, they would surely throw him in prison. So let's go ahead and build a little prison here for any Vikings that they managed to capture. So here it is, guys. The prison has been built. And as you can see, they've managed to get me inside there at the moment, naked and afraid. The prison itself is very basic. It's just a bed and a little bucket for your, let's say, morning ablutions. I guess that's a PG way of saying that. And other than that, it's just a stone floor and obviously a cage wall to keep you in there. Just outside, we have some rock piles here next to each one in case the Grados want to throw stones at the prisoners, either to punish them or just for their own fun. They seem to enjoy doing that, so that sort of makes sense. If you want to see the best build I've ever seen in Valheim, click the video on screen right now.